Hey everyone, welcome to Paint with Paul. Well, today I thought we'd try to do something a little different. We'll just paint using two colors today. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so as you can see, I have an 8 by 10 stretch canvas. It could be a flat canvas, 9 by 12, whatever size you want. Today I'm going to be using the Artist Loft titanium white level one and ivory black by artist loft and i'm gonna be using two of these cheap little small half inch brushes which i haven't used and so i'm kind of gonna experiment with these today and then we're gonna probably use a little inch well, maybe we'll go a little bit bigger to spread it. Maybe we'll go for like a, an inch and a half. Yeah, an inch and a half. Let's we'll see if we could just spread around some of the stuff. And then we got an inch and a half in this one. All right, so uh, let's just see what we could do. Today's a... Uh, we had snow last night and then turned to rain and now it's all wet and yucky and just totally disgusting. So it's a good day to paint. All right, let's just put some here. Might need more. I want to cover the whole top half of this picture or canvas, I should say. <laughs> And I like to have it thick because the thicker it is, the more definition that you get when you're going over top of it. It helps to blend in some of your colors. I don't know. Let's see, we'll just stay right about here. The next part might be a little trickier because I'm just trying this to do something a little different today all right so let's get some of our titanium white and let's just put a little dab there okay mr. white doesn't want to come out because it's guess what it's a brand new one I was using the Walmart version one which was pretty good but it ran out so let's do a little dab of white there whoops sorry hit the camera and some here all right let's use our little half inch brush like I said this is different to me I usually don't use the half inch let me uh, see if I could throw a little extra light in there all right so we're just gonna kind of move this around and we're just gonna kind of like dab in some like little things you know this is like abstract so this is supposed to kind of look like branches or look like a tree or a bush you know your your mind automatically sees it and decides you know hey yeah that's a tree And we're just going to keep tapping it in. And this is just another quick and easy step that you could do. And see this over here, it's starting to mix with the black. So when you look at it close, you're going to see that, like that color variation moving around and everything. Man, I got to stop hitting that camera, don't I? All right, so now on the bottom, let's do some white. Get a different brush. And then let's just see if we could woo, spread this white out. Just gotta have to be a little bit careful when we're getting towards the black over here. But for now, we're just gonna paint this in like this. 
gonna get it all still I still would like that to be even thicker than that like really thick and a little waterish looking color there all right now let's do the opposite let's put a dab of black Uh, the black might go over to all right and take our other no, I didn't get it right take our other little uh, half inch all right and then we're gonna do the same thing we're just gonna kind of make some little tree looking things over here Just gonna tap it in. And then we have kind of like a, a mirror finish. Now, if this was a little bit thicker, like right here in this area right here, you probably can't see it on the camera, but it's very thick. Once that dries, you can rub your hand over this and you're gonna feel all the highs and lows. And, uh, and then you can see how here you got like pure white, nice big globs of white. So you got that like, I don't know if it's three dimensional, two dimensional, but you got that nice high rise and low over here. And it's starting to blend into the black and then the same thing the black is a little bit more dominant going over to white but you could see that you got all these little streaks and striations in there and then you could just keep working with it working with it just doing you know whatever and then you don't have to do this white and black this is just as quick simple i mean there's other blacks where i do the whole thing completely black and then make the trees and whatever, mountains, rocks, stuff like that in white. But I thought I'd try like a yin and yang thing, see how that would come out. And it doesn't look too bad. I mean, just for a little quick and easy, just basically to give you, you know, this is, you could do a, a painting in like 10 minutes. You don't have to like spend days to do it. And here's like a little yin and yang version of it. You could do that like blue and, and purple or pink and purple or whatever. Just the basics of this is what you could do. So I hope, uh, you know, you like it and uh, I'll sign it. You know, always sign the, your pictures, but I'll do that. I use this little broken uh, thing and I scratch it into the paint so it shows through. And then of course you can sign the back. All right, people. That was it, just quick and easy, uh, just another quick idea, building up to some better things in the future to come, so uh, I hope everyone's out there, you're safe, happy and healthy, and uh, definitely uh, get, get out your brushes and start doing some painting, and I appreciate it. if you could like the video, hit the subscribe and, and the dingling bell, and uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day, everyone.